morning. This is Dustin with Orlando Painters. It is November 2nd, 2016. And I'm here at University of Central Florida campus. This is their uh, one part of their chilled, chilled water plant. And I made a video, a uh, starting video, last week on this uh, industrial pipe painting project. This is one one part of the one area of piping we did. Uh, across campus is a, another water plant uh, area they have. Not as, quite as much piping over there, but we did all the piping over there as well. And if you look at the prior video, see what the conditions of these pipes were. There were a lot of uh, corrosion, flaking paint, a couple different layers of different types of paint. Um, super faded out all the paint. So we just finished this project up yesterday. And going back here this morning to make a video to show you guys our finished product. Uh, I don't like to talk too much about the exact products we use. Um, we do tons of industrial pipe painting. I know you think maybe there's not a big market for that, but there truly is. We have a lot of water plants that we uh, are the contractor for. We're the contractor out here at UCF. Um, not just doing their industrial pipe painting and stuff. We do their, uh, you know, we paint buildings for them. Um, other types of tanks, piping, just anything that needs painted out here at UCF, we handle it for them. We have a company, another water plant company over in Winter Garden, uh, Woodard and Curran Water Conserve 2. We do tons of piping, turnouts, tanks, all that stuff for them as well. And we have all the water plants for uh, Orange County, for the city of Orlando. We do all their water plants as well. Um, just tons of piping stuff, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, we have Sherwin-Williams, we have all those painting contracts and we do all their industrial painting and commercial painting for them. So, uh, I love working for UCF, awesome, great people I deal with. It's definitely a pleasure working for them. So a lot of this metal was in real bad shape. It's a lot of texture to it. You'll see there was just a lot of corrosion. Uh, you know, this is a lot of peeling paint. Different types of paint they've put on here over the years that really weren't compatible with one another. So there was a lot of peeling. We pressure wash and just sheets of paint were coming off in certain areas, other areas there wasn't. The last time they painted these pipes, it looked like somebody somebody used two different same color but two different types of coatings. Uh, there was a, an actual oil based on one section of this these pipes, and then there was a water based on the other. And we ran chemical tests to confirm that because you kind of got to know what you're, you're using a new sophisticated product. You got to make sure it's you know it kind of jives with the other one, or you'll start to see bubbling all over or kind of. When, when a coating, an existing coating, coating gets top coated with something more sophisticated, it eats up the bottom coating. So you'll start to see it almost looks like cottage cheese or something, you know? So, and you don't want that look or those problems. So, and we really don't, they're using cheaper, you know, cheaper kind of residential products on some of this piping out here. And that fades real fast. And, just dealing with the sun beating on it, the temperatures of the pipes, and just there's all kinds of stuff to take into consideration when doing industrial painting. Uh, we're certified in so many different types of coatings, so UCF knows that. They know our, uh, our body of work through the years throughout Central Florida, and they want stuff done right out here. So they're kind of taking everything before is kind of in-house reached out to me a couple years ago and they've given us a lot of work and I really appreciate UCF. These are 
are all condensers. This is all chilled water going through here. It basically feeds the entire campus's uh, water supply. And it's on both sides, all these, all this piping. Well, we finished this project. I think we took us about six or seven days and we got all this done and uh, the other section as well. It's got everything cleaned, everything grinded. Um, everything primed when you're dealing with corrosion we like to use we really step it up on the primers nothing you're gonna buy over the counter type of stuff you know nothing you're gonna see at Home Depot or Lowe's that's just not gonna work on in this type of environment so we really step it up in the primers you know we go to at least you know two part epoxy primers and then there's certain my go-to product for finished coats on um, industrial like machinery, piping, tanks, all that type of stuff. We have a kind of a go-to finish coating, especially outside. It really holds up incredible against the sun. If you put like a typical house paint or something, which certainly doesn't apply in this situation, but um, put like a typical house paint or something on here, this stuff would be faded. UCF really is on top of their campus. They really keep this place looking really, really nice. Looks like somebody was already up here with a high reach doing some maintenance. But these are big condenser units. All the piping goes around there. They go in between. There's four sides all together of piping this side. Nothing on the back side towards the road. There's no piping over there. Just all through here. All through down here, all the way around. That's the big UCF water tower right there. This plant's directly across the street from that, so. And there's a, uh, they definitely give us a lot of work and the powers that be are super happy with us. Yeah, so there's a lot of work on these pipes. Now, they might have been a little longer than six or seven days. They might have got into eight days on this. A lot of prep work first before we can start applying the finish coating. Thanks for watching this short little video of another one of our industrial pipe painting projects here on the campus of University of Central Florida. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, 407-267-5886. Thank you.